Morning coffee at the Gables. Morning coffee at the Gables. Morning coffee at the Gables. It was an awesome stay. So nice here. And now we're heading west. <laughs> we are here at the Bottle Houses. It's in the Evangeline region on Prince Edward Island and it's gorgeous. We're very excited to check it out. They're open seasonally. On the way here we stopped at this market. It's like a kind of like a thrift store, not an antique store. Skylar got this super cool suitcase. And, and there's fresh strawberries. strawberries. Yeah. It's July and BEI. Fresh okay. berries. We're gonna go, go explore. This year, 2021, is actually their 41st year of having the bottle houses here. And it was all made by this man, Edward Arsenault, who took all of these bottles, he sourced them, then he cleaned them, then he organized them, and then he structured these buildings that we will show you. And it took him 1,500 days. This building that we're in is the chapel. Back in the 70s, apparently, the Catholic Church would discard of their votive holders, which you can see that all of these bottles mainly are. And apparently there's only four blue bottles used in this entire building out of 10,000. Pew is such a funny word. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. I have to remember all the information and David's just saying pew pew. But I have to film everything. Sure. I can and put it together and remember all the pieces. This is the first house that he built. 12,000 bottles. Back in the day, they used to just throw bottles away. They didn't recycle them. But he used to go to dance halls to try and find bottles. And people started to hear about it and they started to come and donate bottles. So. Are all the donated bottles. It's cool. Fancy a drink? What are you having? We are at the tavern. And yeah, if you're gonna have a bottle house, you may as well have a tavern. <laughs> this is the bar, and the whole building again is built of bottles. Next up, we are doing something super exciting, which required a quick outfit change from me. We're going paddle boarding, but. It's gonna be a special guest. Paddle boarding with a twist. There's or gonna guests. be some special guests. This is a two-week-old goat named Pippa, and she's wearing a dress. This is amazing. Oh my god. See? You just jump on? Oh, it's the front. That's fine. This is the front where Rex is facing forward. Oh my god. It, it's a little bit more wobbly yes. for sure. <laughs> He's a lot bigger than our dogs though. Very good. Did you know that they like honeycombs? This is so fun. This is so unique. You should come to PEI and check out Beach Goats. They offer paddle boarding and goat yoga, and you could stay with goats. <laughs> <laughs> They'll, they will eat the treats out of your pocket though, just be careful. <laughs> so that's Melvin, and he's one of the triplets, and they're keeping their horns, because they're going to a family in Wood Islands. Beach goats was amazing. It was so much fun. They were so it cute. It was the best. I am on cloud nine right now. I am overwhelmed with happiness. I got to hug a baby goat. I got to hold a baby goat. I knew nothing about goats. I didn't know that they don't really like water, but those goats do because they live by I the know. Water. If you see this video and you know a lot about goats, you'd be like, what the hell? But nope, they, yeah. these goats literally live on the beach, so they don't mind the water. They don't like rain though, which is kind of funny, yeah. but. And now we're at Cape. Egmont, Egmont Lighthouse. Yes. And there's a cool little rock there with a hole in it. And, and there's the lighthouse. There's the lighthouse. Checking in. We just took the North Cape Coastal route all the way to the western side of Prince Edward Island and we are in O'Leary. We just checked into the fabulous Mill River Resort. We're already blown away and we've hardly even checked out anything other than the hallway in our room. Give you a little room tour. This is our bathroom here. It's 
beautiful, super modern. Check out the shower. This is the room. We have a huge flat screen TV, a desk, king size bed. I'll be jumping in as soon as I get these sandy sandals off. And a little living area with a couch because you're gonna wanna get comfortable and look at the view. For our supper tonight, we're eating here at the Miller Res Res For our supper tonight, we're eating here at the Callahan Restaurant. Nice view of the golf course. There's tables too. You don't have to sit lounge style like this. There's tables indoors and there's tables out on the patio too. For a starter, we got the smoked salmon plate. So smoked salmon, cream cheese, some pickled red onions and capers. For our mains, I got haddock, which is like third night in a row here on PEI having fish. <laughs> so I got the pan fried haddock, PEI mashed potatoes, some seasonal vegetables, and a creamy lobster sauce on top. And David got buttered chicken with basmati rice and man bread. Supper at Callahan's was wonderful. It is so nice that they offer a full restaurant right on the resort. Now we are on the way to catch sunset. It looks like it's gonna be another brilliant one. This is amazing. But I think it's just about to go behind the clouds. We just made it in time. An impromptu tour! <laughs> no, this is so neat. So we just ran into some friends of Skylar's and suddenly, we're, suddenly we're, getting, we're getting a tour of this lighthouse. Capers always attract fellow capers. Remember that. Hi, Alma! <laughs> Why did they make the doors so small? Hi, Alma! <laughs> Good morning. Last night's sunset was incredible. We made it just in time to the lighthouse. And we ran into some folks from back home yeah. and we were able to get into the lighthouse and have a little after hours tour and out at the top and it was beautiful. So the lighthouse is actually also a museum. It's one of, I think it's PEI's tallest lighthouse. It's also an inn. We didn't realize yeah. that it was an inn because these friends of ours were staying at the inn and that's how we got access to go up to the top and we even got out on the deck. So you can also go up to the top, but you might not always be able to get out on the deck unless someone's there to show you. And the guy said it's one of Canada's most haunted places. Which is insane. There were so many ghost stories and tales to tell. So you'll have to get yourself here to experience it. We are at Cask and Peck Bay Oysters and Jenny here is going to help us shuck our first oyster. So this is the hinge where you're gonna put your knife in. You wanna like stick it in well and then you're just gonna turn it kind of like a key and you will pop the hinge. Say something. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I put too much sauce though. You need to like really yeah. wedge it in. That That's so a good hard. pop for the first that was time. That's a really good pop. Have you done this before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm an expert. <laughs> we are here in Cascom Peck Bay with Marty O'Brien, the owner of Cascom Peck Oysters, and he's gonna give us a little tour of the bay and all of the process that goes into oysters. We know nothing. Tiny, tiny oysters in there. They'll grow to full size in three years. Let's see what year, yeah, like 2024. Yeah. These will be ready to harvest next year. Like the oysters kind of funny. One of its defense mechanisms if you if it gets stressed is to grow rounder and deeper and like meatier so it's all things you want
That was a fun little tour. It was awesome. It was so cool to see how right from the little seeds of the teeny baby oysters. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't cry when you see the little baby ones. They were adorable. Little baby oysters. But then you have to leave them there and you have to tumble them uh, now and then to like stress the oysters out a little because- There's so much work involved. Then they, yeah. <laughs> The whole process was insane. We never realized what a time consuming thing oyster farming was. This side of Prince Edward Island is actually considered Canada's oyster coast because there are so many places to farm and um, enjoy delicious oysters. We were lucky enough to get an inside peek at one of them. Before we hit the pool, I'm gonna give you a little tour of what Mill River Resort has to offer. All the different amenities, let's go. They have 81 guest rooms and suites, an on-site restaurant, gift shop. There are squash, tennis, and pickleball court. They have a pro shop, an 18-hole golf course. They have bike rentals. They have a beautiful fitness center. They offer spa services. And last but certainly not least is this indoor saltwater swimming pool with a 90-foot water slide. date an adult child. <laughs> Next up on today's adventure, we're going to be eating at the Northport Pier restaurant. It's came highly recommended by many people, so we'll let you know if it's good. It's really nice in here. It's beautiful. Look at it. Look at this place. Lovely at the Northport Pier. Northport Pier restaurant? It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. It was super good, and we actually ended up meeting up with a newfound Prince Edward Island friend, Devin. And now he's gonna like give us our own little guided tour around some of the hidden gems around. Devin is taking us to this really cool beach. Um, White Cove is the name. And if you go down to the left, there's these really tall cliffs. Well, this is the elephant rock. Uh, it no you, longer looks like an elephant. No longer looks like an <laughs> elephant. It used to be a very popular spot, Devin told us. Thousands of people used to come here. Now it looks like a strawberry upside down. It's setting. It's dangerously close. We gotta get there, guys. <laughs> we only have a few hours of sleep in us. We went to bed at one because we were taking pictures of the stars and now Skylar's gonna go out on the paddleboard. That was so pretty. Was it? I mean, it was so pretty for me too. The world's largest potato. Look at that. That's a big spud. We are at the Canadian Potato Museum. So when you think of Prince Edward Island, potatoes should come to mind because they grow a lot of them and they grow very good potatoes too. And they have a whole museum dedicated to potatoes. Island grows the most potatoes out of any other province in all of Canada. They actually displayed it here on a map from 1989, but they used French fries for the metrics of how many potatoes. <laughs> That's so cute. This is a really cool spot. It's all the diseases that the potatoes 
could get. And they have little potatoes that you can see what they look like. What's it? Black leg looks like. Black heart. Bacterial soft rock. My food's ready. After looking at all these potatoes, we are starving. We've got to learn all about how they harvest and everything about them. So good thing that we are so hungry because they have an on-site restaurant here. It's a fully packed potato menu. <laughs> yeah. We have potato nachos with the works. And it's got a baked potato with more potatoes and the works. If you like potatoes, this is the place to be. Just outside of St. Anthony, we are here at Moth Lane Brewing. Look at their little logo there. It's a moth. We have already tried some of these beers actually because it's quite popular to be on tap and available at restaurants around PEI, but we haven't tried all of them. So we of course wanted to come to the brewery and see what they have on tap. We just asked them for a random selection of six different ones. So they have flights here, three beers for $7, three of these little samplers. We were here last night, but uh, we didn't have enough time to get the paddleboard out. So we're back. Skylar's gonna paddleboard through this little rock here, the elephant rock. You made it. made it! How was that? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, the EI is incredible. We just came from paddleboarding at the North Cape. It was beautiful. It was one of those shots that I really wanted to get and the feeling when you have a shot list and you accomplish it, oh, it feels so good. Uh, so we did that and then we drove down along the coast and we're back at White Cape. I think it's White Cove Beach. White Cove Beach. And we're gonna go check out some coastal photo opportunities and catch sunset. How cool is this? Here she goes, the last sunset of the trip. How do you feel about that? I feel very lucky. PEI. My heart. My heart! We're checking out today, we're heading home. Thank you for watching our PEI adventures. Yep. We're gonna try these fat bikes out before we leave. I'm we'll be back. We, will we are be coming back. back. Thanks Literally for having like us, PEI. <laughs> Thanks for having us, PEI. <laughs> Hope you get some travel inspiration from this video and subscribe and share to continue supporting us making more videos and showcasing where you could be vacationing next. Bye. Bye. Look at these. I am so happy right now. We are at Woods Farms Strawberry You Pick and shout out to Sarah Woods. She just like messaged us on Instagram. It was like, if you're driving past, stop in for some strawberries. So it's about a half hour from the Wood Islands uh, ferry. So we're on our way to the ferry. We had to kill some time well, instead of waiting for the ferry. So we picked some strawberries and you eat them all. You got so many big ones. I gotta go in go front catch. of you. This is fair. That was a fun little tour. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> 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 the sunrises here just don't make sense. Look at this thing. It's just a huge orb.